Alright, what's going on guys? <clears throat> so this video, to begin with, I want to go ahead and start out and say thank you to my mom because she's always sending care packages. This one just got for Valentine's Day. And then she sent this one because I asked her if she, because here on the island, a lot of stuff that we see uh, on Instagram, social media, stuff that they have in the States, we don't actually get here on the island. Or if we do get it, it's usually like super, super late. <clears throat> so if you guys know anything about the Sour Patch Kids cereal, she sent me a bunch of Sour Patch Kids cereal. And um, luckily we did have it here on the island because it's only at Walmart, so Walmart got it pretty quick. This one right here, like I said, is mostly the Valentine's Day stuff. So Valentine's Day candy and some Sour Patch Kids. Look at this. Ooh. Let's get all of this out of the way and we will talk about the main topic of this video. Um, seeing it on social media so much is CBD. So a lot of people ask, um, CBD is it legal? Does the military test for CBD? Things like that. Well, with CBD, <clears throat> Um, with CBD, it is pretty much a product or a substance that is in marijuana. So the thing about CBD and marijuana, the CBD um, does not have or what they are uh, marketing that CBD does not have THC. So THC is the mental altering um, effect or mental altering ingredient that's usually in the cannabis plant. <clears throat> so supposedly that's taken out of CBD drugs. So that is what CBD is very quickly. Um, CBD usually comes or it started in like oils or started uh, in the product of oils. Now there's CBD gummies, CBD chocolate, CBD um, drinks. Um, Honey, lip balm, like there's like pretty much anything you can think of that you could ingest or put on topically. There's CBD ingredient that has been made with it. <clears throat> so very, very easily to get your hands on. You go into most of the supplement stores now. They have CBD, pretty much everything. So um, the two studies or the two um, the two uh, resources that I got my information from is medicalnewstoday.com and then I also got it from Operational Supplement Safety. So Operational Supplement Safety is a website that is that is used and updated by the DOD on things and substances and ingredients that service members or DOD employees can take and can't take um, and what is actually tested. <clears throat> so as I did videos long before um, talking about substances or supplements you could use in the military. Operational Supplement Safety. I'll put the link down below. You can check out the website. Um, I have used it a lot, bounced it off of different supplements that I've looked into taking, things like that. But it's really good because the um, last thing you want is to be taking an ingredient that is A, harmful to you, um, or an ingredient that can get you kicked out of the military. So. Operational Supplement Safety. If you have any questions on any supplements, instead of asking everybody, just go to that link, go to that website, and check it out for yourself. Um, so to start with, CBD. So we're going to go from the medical news today. Um, in 2018, June 2018, so just last year, the FDA approved the prescription use um, of CBD oil or purified form of CD, CDB oil and for treating two types of epilepsy. So I have like some key points I've already read read over. Some key points that I want to go over, I have them highlighted. Um, some of the risks, there's still lack of available long-term safety data. So there hasn't been a long research process that's came with CBD, so that's the reason why um, a lot of the risk factors are kind of up in the air. <clears throat> But they have not performed any studies on children. Most of these studies, uh, they they formed a lot of the studies on mice. I think that's what they said. I think that's what one of these has. Uh, most of the research was done with mice and rats. So, yeah. <clears throat> Just keep that in mind. Um, so, right here... CBD is different unlike THC, it has no psychoactive, um, which means that CBD does not change a person's state of mind in which they use it. 
the Journal of Experimental Medicine found that CBD uh, significantly reduced chronic inflammation and pain in some mice and rats. So how they found out that the mice and the rats had pain, I don't know. And how they found out that it reduced some of the inflammation and pain in those rats is a good question. So, <clears throat> same medical news today article. Um, People tend to use prescription over-the-counter drugs to relieve stiff and pain or stiffness and pain, including chronic pain. Um, some people believe that CBD offers a more natural alternative to relieving some chronic pain. Also, some um, benefits or what are known as uh, or considered as benefits that CBD oils are used for: chronic pain, epilepsy, Parkinson's disease, Huntington's disease, sleep disorders, and glaucoma. <coughs> And post-traumatic stress disorder, general anxiety and disorder, panic disorder, social anxiety disorder, and obsessive compulsive disorder. Again, I'm not really stating yes, T um, yes, CBD is amazing, no, CBD is not amazing. I'm just giving you some of the information because a lot of people don't want to look it up for themselves. So I decided to look it up for you make a video about it and give you the, the highlighted information instead of reading over pages of stuff. So... Main thing, main question, main answer um, that people came up with. Can you use CBD in the military and is it legal? So, on operational supplement safety, I believe it's the second page. Yep, so it is page two, right there. Alright, is CBD legal? Can I use it in the military? On the first, first part of this section, CBD is prohibited for use by, by service members. Um, meaning, no, you cannot use it. Legally, you cannot use it if you're in the military. Um, it appears that some CBD oils and products, as well as other vapes, Vape oils, liquid products may contain synthetic uh, marijuana, fake weed, or spice. So, not saying that CBD is not what it says it's supposed to be, or that it, it is what it says it's supposed to be. But what my take is, the reason why they say no, right off the bat, prohibited for any service member, is because um, pretty much CBD can be sold almost anywhere that self are being sold. I mean, they sell it in like some, some convenience stores. So uh, once it becomes legalized, as in everywhere can sell it, uh, there's going to be a lot of, um, pretty sure there's going to be a lot of hits when it comes to saying that there is CBD or advertising CBD, and now people are coming back with THC in their system. So um, plus a lot of places that you would probably come in contact with the CBD um, product probably is not the best place that a service member should be but um, yeah that's there's your answer so um, CBD is prohibited for use by service members and this was updated January 18th of 2019 so like I said go to operational supplement safety dot com Read the article yourself. If you have any questions, any this right here should answer it for you. It is the black and white on CBD. Um, as of right now, will this change? Possibly. But uh, as of right now, it is illegal for any service member to use CBD, no matter if it's oils, gummies, chocolates, drinks, does not matter. So, <sighs> yeah. Anyways, that's going to be the video. Also want to throw out that... New Venture Apparel is going to be coming out with some new shirts. Um, I printed these shirts here on Island. Also has the Island chain on the side. I'm going to link the Instagram page if you guys like to check it out. Also, the website would be down in the description box. I still have some of the Hungry Dough and the Gains Dough. I'll put those two pictures here um, if you guys are interested in that. And I came out with the lady shorts um venture apparel shorts came out with a burgundy and a black so make sure you're checking out the venture apparel page on instagram i have not dropped these yet when i do drop them i do plan on doing a giveaway so make sure you are standing by for that um so yeah i know it's been like a little bit since i made another video but hope you guys enjoy this one 
Definitely plan on making more. Um, let me know your thoughts on CBD if you have tried it down in the comment section. Um, and if you think that the military will eventually allow it or if they won't allow it. So make sure you give this video a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.